Hey guys, what's up? I'm Joe here. Today we're going to discuss the 2017 fantasy romance movie, The Shape of Water, written and directed by Guillermo del Toro, starring Octavia Spencer, Doug Jones, uh, who's the main, the main actress? Something Hawkins. Sally Hawkins? Something? So when they first announced this movie, I initially thought it was a sequel to Hellboy because it's the same actor who played Abe Sapien and it's the same exact character of Abe Sapien, but they just call him the... I don't even know what they call him. It's not the Gill Man, it's the Aqua guy. I don't know. Does he have a name? He must have a name. The creature? The asset? as they call him. It's your basic, you know, steal a wild animal from South America and bring it to America to try to learn its wonders. And you have the Russian spies trying to get a hold of it. And then this woman who's mute falls in love with it and takes it away. And I, I, I get it. Humans are the monsters. I get it. But really, a two-hour, some-odd-minute movie about this woman having sex with a fish? Why? How the hell did this win so many Oscars? I mean, yes, cinematography was great. Costuming was great. The actors did a great job. Octavia Spencer could do anything. She can do anything. She is awesome. But... Why? See, this is why I don't like watching the Oscars, because you have these really artsy movies that don't do very well at the box office, win all these giant awards, but you have all these awesome, awesome movies that make these uh, millions and billions of dollars worth of money, and they don't get credit. And I don't understand why this is still going on. I know the, the Academy announced... Recently, they were going to add a popular category into, or like most popular, something like that, category into um, the Oscars. And I was so excited to hear that. And I was like, finally, movies that are actually mainstream are going to get the recognition they deserve. Not this indie nonsense that continuously just gets these awards, but do they deserve it? You know, the mainstream audience doesn't like watching the Oscars anymore because these independent films are the only ones that are getting nominated. There's nothing wrong with independent films. We've talked about how great some independent films are and how god-awful others are as well, but when you go see a blockbuster, when you see Avengers, Avengers is going to be in 4,400 movie theaters across the country. When you see Shape of Water, it was probably only in, what, 2,000 movie theaters across the whole country? There's a difference between what people can see and what people want to see. So if, if hypothetically, if, if Shape of Water was in 4,400 movie theaters, a lot more people would have seen it. A lot more people would know what it's about. But they didn't. So, like, this, this is my problem with, with the Oscars, is they're not giving recognition to the blockbuster films that they deserve. And it'll change. I know damn well that by the time my generation is the one in charge, we will have changed it all for obvious better reasonings. But we got to play the game. I didn't like this movie. I sit there for two hours. It bored me. I chuckled maybe twice. Especially when the monster was eating the cat. I thought that was hysterical. racist movie it was homophobic it obviously depicted the 60s very well but i'm tired i'm tired of seeing all of the crap that has been that we're all aware of let's see what can change where we are going to be eh did you like the movie everyone i talk to doesn't like this movie so there's got to be people that like this movie. That's all I got. Mucho mahalo, guys.